burning sulfur releases sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Both of these gases are toxic and exposure to them must be absolutely limited and avoided. Also, not only are these gases toxic, but upon exposure to moisture or water they will form acid. Sulfur should only be burned outside or in a fume hood. First, some sulfur is placed onto a watch glass. Next, a little bit of the sulfur is ignited using a Bunsen burner. When the flame touches the sulfur, it immediately melts into a blood red goop. When the sulfur is ignited, it starts reacting with oxygen in the air to form sulfur dioxide as well as sulfur trioxide. The melting point of sulfur is quite low at only about 115 degrees Celsius. The heat of the combustion of the sulfur is able to keep the sulfur in its liquid state. As the sulfur burns, more and more of the solid sulfur is melted and converted into its liquid state. Eventually, all of the sulfur will be melted. In the light, it is a little difficult to see that there is actually a blue flame being emitted from the burning liquid sulfur. If a larger amount of sulfur is burning, the blue light is much more evident. I turned down the lights a little to make the glowing blue flame of the burning sulfur much more evident. Eventually, all of the sulfur will melt into a flaming goop. In my case, the liquefied sulfur then took 15 more minutes to completely burn. At this point, I'm going to fast forward the rest of the burning of the sulfur. This has been sped up to about 12 times the actual speed. The real-time version of the sulfur burning is going to be included immediately after this. It will be from the very start until it completely liquefies. I'll include some nice soothing background music.